of editing all the stuff that we shoot. Pan it around here. Let me see. Point the camera towards me, if you can, as, as much as you can. Yeah, about as, that's about as far as you can go, but yeah. good. Yeah. Is that, that's not difficult, huh? Nah, it's not. It just moves around. You know, like, Have you ever used the camera before? I mean, a regular base camera, yeah, but not like a full setup like this, though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, but it's a good experience. But yeah, you can use AI in post production, but believe it or not, you can use AI in a lot of the actual camera operation. Um, a lot of the cameras will have AI embedded in it so that they can actually do all the settings. Like there's, there's already AI in this camera for autofocus and all the other settings. Yeah, so it's really thinking for you so that you can actually get optimal use of it. But the, the goal at some point is not to be replaced by AI because AI can't look at the lens and take your perspective like you can. You know, so if you see it... Second view is more of like a whole second person. Co-pilot. Co-pilot, yeah. 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 And whatever you, whatever it is that you can actually put into, you know, the camera, the robot, whatever, is what it's going to come out of, you know. But eventually, there will be something that allows the robot to start thinking for itself, to take anything you give it and then be able to interpret it and then give it an enhancement. Well, supposedly an enhancement. That's called AGI, as artificial general intelligence, or they call it super intelligence. But, you know, that's kind of, we're still trying to figure out the guardrails of making sure that we don't get too far ahead of ourselves so that all of these autonomous things don't start to uh, become things that we didn't plan for. Did you get a four? Yeah. And then there's uh, something called quantum computing, which a mechanical engineer definitely needs to know about because quantum computing makes everything quicker, faster, better than we're actually using. It's called computer processing to the 10th degree. Have you ever heard of quantum computing? The quantum, no, but like the processing, you know, that or not like the specific terms. What, what what's your um, understanding of quantum? How would you use quantum in, in your career path? Quantum, I would say more like, this is just, okay, this is what I have. You know how like designing, like a design engineer, is yeah, and that's where we're going is really combining the capacity of quantum with all the things you can do with super intelligence. And we aren't there yet, but we're getting closer and closer every day. So it's one of the things that I want people to be aware of so that you can have an early entry into where that can become not only a career, but it can be some a tool that will help you in every aspect of your life, not just your career, but also just in your life, your family. Because you, you, you don't know when they could come into hand, you're like, you know what, somebody could, you know what quantum is, like quantum, like the, I don't know, I mean, but I can see like a person that can also make a difference, and you know what, yeah, I know what it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you, know, you never know when the opportunity will come. Well, I definitely want you at some point to just give us your input as to what you want to be able to do um, with not only all the knowledge you take out of here, but how can it help you get to a place where we can help you in your, um, in your evolution. So that's what this is really all about, is to try to have everybody individually connect to what we can do to mentor you. That's the whole process, is mentoring. Okay, thank you, bro.